Visit Blight Farms in South Central Michigan and you'll find about as diverse a family farming operation as there can be. Half the income here comes from finishing cattle, but the Blight family also has a farrow to finish hog operation and about 2,200 acres of cropland. Brothers Art and Ken handle much of the day-to-day -day farm work with help from their dad, Bill, when needed. The boys coming back and working with me and what I had started and boys and my grandson, they really get along good and I think that's the name of the game. Dad had a good start. He put a lot of sweat and tears into it and we just kind of jumped in and maintained, tried to keep that momentum going. I'm excited about agriculture. I believe in what we do. I think what we do is, is good for the country. And I think the future is very bright for agriculture. Just as their farm production is diverse, so too is their land. The Blight Farm includes lakes, woods, wetlands, and an abundance of wildlife. Their crops have been no-tilled since 1990, and the Blights have worked with USDA's Natural Resources Conservation Service on a number of projects, including a new agrochemical containment facility and a basin to capture runoff from their cattle lots. About 10 or 12 years ago, we worked with NRCS to develop a settling basin in a, in a sodded waterway. This settling basin catches the rainwater off the roof line and off the cemented area comes in, allows the, slows the water down, allows the solids to settle out, and then slowly discharges the water down the sodded waterway. It's a good example of how a livestock producer can be uh, environmentally uh, friendly, uh, be a part of the community, and uh, also be uh, compliant with uh, the, the new uh, regulations for confined animal feeding operations. As their cattle operation has grown, the Blights have moved towards roofed facilities for feeding up to 570 steers at a time. The result has been higher rates of gain and better containment of manure. The barn itself actually replaced this outside lot here. Uh, we needed to get the cattle uh, off of that land so that we could contain the manure and have more control over what, uh, what happened with that. Over the years, the Blights have planted trees to serve as windbreaks and reduce erosion. And they've worked with NRCS and Michigan State University to implement a comprehensive nutrient management program. I guess my proudest accomplishment would be the soil sampling and matching the manure application with the needs of the soil with the crop uptake. They don't only um, just talk about environmental stewardship and uh, conservation practices, they do by their actions. And I think it's been uh, exemplary here on the farm to see that they, they very much live and breathe uh, good conservation practices and um, think about the long-term sustainability of agriculture. The results? The soil is healthier, crop yields are up, and the Blight's cattle operation is thriving. At the same time, they've minimized erosion, controlled runoff, and protected local water resources. They work hard at it and they uh, try to do things right. I think they have. We drink the water, our livestock drinks the water, so we don't want to see the groundwater contaminated just like everyone else. Through the use of no-till, through uh, the nutrient management program, uh, there's no doubt in my mind that what we're doing here is sustainable. And uh, when we leave here, it will be in better shape than what it was when we got here.